What up, y'all? It's Kurt from Triad Hip Hop Podcast, and I want to show y'all a clip from an interview we did with legendary hip hop rapper uh, DMC from Run DMC. Now, I asked him what he thought was the difference between the hip hop culture back then when he first got into rapping and versus uh, what we see going on today. Here's what he had to say. Check it out. critique another person's creativity. But the problem with our hip hop right now is that most most of all the artists are not being responsible. And what I mean by that is when we was doing our hip hop, the hip hop before me, when Run DMC was doing it, and then everybody after Run DMC, our first priority before the fortune, the fame, and all the money was the people in the audience. So what that meant was, if we made a record about a gun, the very next record would be not using a gun. If we made a record about a strip club, the next record would be about girls that don't dance in strip clubs. If we made a record about people that smoke weed and drink and take drugs, the next record would let people know that everybody does that. Hip hop is a different responsibility than any other form of expression. It's different from rock, it's different from movies, because a lot of rappers go, Oh man, y'all don't go after Arnold Schwarzenegger and Bruce Springsteen when they make movies using guns, when they make violent movies. So if you're going to use that excuse, get off the mic, get out of hip hop and go be an actor. Because it's different. Just like Ozzy Osbourne's music about suicide doesn't cause suicide. Exactly. Yep, yep, you know what yep. I'm saying? When these guys in hip hop say what they do and the things that they are, they got to understand, Little Shorties is looking up to them. And not necessarily looking up to them. Because they are in hip hop, the Little Shorties respect them. So they have a responsibility not to use profanity, not to throw sex in front of their face, and not to throw the violence in their face. Now, there's a time and a place for that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we made records that are more powerful than every gangster yes, rap song, and, never, and we never cursed. For example, Wycliffe said DMC is the only MC that could talk about St. John's University, chicken and collard greens, and Christmas and make it gangster. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So right now, hip hop is not being responsible. And this is not about, uh, excuse me, um, censorship or freedom of speech. These rappers are, you don't have to answer the means. You can talk about whatever, you can create whatever you want. But you gotta understand when it comes to hip hop, created by young people over 45, maybe 50 years ago, we did it for a responsible reason. We had a purpose. Now, there's two forms of hip hop now. There's hip hop and then there's show business. Ninety-nine percent of the people doing it now is about show business. You understand what I'm saying? Absolutely. Hip hop and then rap. Yeah, you know what it's, it's, it's the entertainment thing about it. And that's okay, that's cool. You can be entertaining, you can get rich and famous and all of that. But you will always be looked down upon by your own people. Because when we look back at your career, you see that there was a lack of responsibility. You won't be celebrated <clears throat> and you won't be respected. You will be written about, you have your accomplishments, but you won't be celebrated and you won't be respected. So now what I'm saying is this, we need to be more responsible. And I'm saying, and I'm not talking about don't wait till you're grown up to be responsible. When you Chuck D said, I was on tour, Run DMC, EPMD, Eric B. and Rockman, and Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, and Public Enemy. Yeah, it's crazy. They don't even get shows like that. And Chuck D said the most powerful thing about this hip hop, besides we get the opportunity to sell out coliseums now, we sell out stadiums now, 
We're on TV now. We get endorsements and we got record deals and um, um, we got businesses and clothing companies. This is the most powerful thing about this hip hop. It's a powerful power communication. Do more than the president does to Puerto Rico. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So if we have to be more responsible now because everything that hip hop celebrates. The ignorance, the literacy, the disrespect, disrespecting women, telling kids you don't gotta be, you don't need to go to, you don't need to do nothing, but not telling these kids to do the right things and making them think, okay, it's cool to be an asshole, right. it's completely wrong. Yeah. We wanted hip hop, I wanna let the hip hop generation know it's not cool to be a fool. It's not cool to be disrespectful. Not cool, kids. It's not cool to disrespect women. Oh. It's not cool to think school is not a necessity. So once we become responsible again, we will see a turnabout in our communities. Okay. So Keep it locked right here. Triad Hip Hop Podcast.